Hamza, six rounds banked for the first time as a professional. Just speaking to you off camera there, you, you weren't completely satisfied with your performance. Just break it down for us from your perspective. Alhamdulillah, as always, all praise to God, man. Performance-wise, you know what, I'm very critical of myself. I've not heard anyone say it was a bad performance, so I'm not going to put myself down too much. But when you talk as much as I do about knockouts and, you know, all of that stuff, of course I'm going to be disappointed in knock him out. I hit him with some good shots. Let's be honest, I'm never shy. I'm never shy. You can't tell me I didn't try and knock him out because I, I give him some good ones. But listen, he's free weight above me. No excuses, you know. I didn't knock him out. But, you know what, second fight, six rounds in the bag. You know, we're looking to do, you know, titles and stuff, so I need a good six rounds. So, you know what, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Is, how important is it that you hold yourself to those high standards for the places that you want to go? You can't just be happy or satisfied with, with the performance. You always want to look to critique yourself, improve it, and kick on to the next fight. Yeah, of course, man. I don't, I don't mean to be a negative person, but I'm always expecting more of myself. Even if I did spark him out in two rounds, I still would expect more. Uh, I know how hard I work in the gym. I know the, the effort that my coaches, my dad, and everyone puts into me. So I almost owe it to them to, to do better. And yeah, I should have done better. But the main thing is people are entertained. And my, my number one job is to entertain. I'm a boxer, you know, not for myself, for, for my people who came out. So I'm happy to say they were entertained. But next time we're gonna, we're, someone's getting flattened, man. Like you said, you want to be moving into title fights pretty soon. So it is important that you have those rounds under the belt because not every fight's going to be a one or two round job, is it? 100%. Listen, you see me there, six rounds. You know, I, I, was, I was only amateur a few months ago, you know, six rounds piece of uh, it was really easy like you know what I'm saying <laughs> it was really easy wasn't it so I mean like you know the rounds aren't going to be an issue at all I trained too hard for this man six rounds is nothing piece of cake and, and how did you feel like you said this was a an opponent up at a, a weight class and much heavier than where you probably ideally would like to operate at. and obviously a last minute opponent you didn't have that wasn't the weight you were training to fight at but so how did you feel in there against a, a bigger man Listen, no excuses, man. Um, I've said it once, I'm not going to say it anymore. He was, he was much heavier, he was tough, strong and, and, and exactly what we thought he was going to be. Uh, but um, in all honesty, even though I didn't box to my best, still absolutely took him apart. Easy. He caught me when I wanted him to catch me. He couldn't catch me when I didn't want him to catch me, you know what I'm saying? So onwards and upwards, someone better is going to bring even better out of me. And listen, man, whoever's next, man, wherever, whoever, I'm ready to go. To make your second fight on the DAZN broadcast, that brings a lot of nerves to a lot of people, especially at this stage of their career. But you seem to enjoy it every minute of it. We saw you for the ring walk. You loved it in the ring, still expressing yourself. How are you able to do that at such a young age? No nerves at all, man. I'm a showman. Listen, I'm a boxer. You know, if, 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 if I wasn't a showman, there'd be no point, man. I'm looking to go to really, really high places in this sport. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to mess about. I'm not here to muck about. I want to I enjoy myself and make sure people enjoy themselves too because they're paying their hard and money to watch. They're, they're watching on the zone broadcast. I'm on TV. I look the part. I've got to be the part. And I was the part. It was just the, the cherry on the cake wasn't there. Who cares, man? The next one's getting it. Now you've had that first taste of the of the design broadcast. I'm sure that's where you want to stay from now, and also just to keep moving up that card closer to to a headline spot. Hundred percent, man. Give me the headline spot now, man. I've been saying it all week. I am the main event. Do you know what I'm saying? I am the main event. I bring the entertainment. I bring the showmanship. Uh, I bring everything, man. Speed, power, sharpness. You know, I bring the lot, man. I just can't wait for the next opportunity. Shout out to everyone. Shout out to Matchroom, Eddie, Frank, everyone. You know, on the team who's, who's got me out so quickly after after my debut. You know, I'm extremely grateful. You know. Um, and yeah, on to the next man. I can't wait to get out, man. If, if it was up to me, I'd be out tomorrow. How important is that activity? Because you had to wait, I think it was a year or over a year from, from when you, from being an amateur to a professional to make that debut. How important is that activity for you now? Yeah, pardon me. Yeah, of course, man. I want to be active. I'm a fighter, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, I've not made it yet. I'm not 40 yard. I'm fighting once a year, twice a year. I'd fight every week if I could. That's what I'm used to. I want, I'm a fighting man. I love to fight, you know. An entertainer always wants to go and entertain. And as much as I enjoy, um, you know, being a showman in the gym, it's only dad and coach watching, you know what I'm saying? It's a bit boring. So as, as many times as I can, so long as, you know, God keeps me healthy and everything's all in the right place, I'd fight anywhere, anytime, any place. It's such an exciting time to be in and around your weight class. Obviously, you, you're, you've still got a way to go before you get that, but, but we had uh, Bam versus Sunny last year. We've got Estrada versus Bam next week. It's just such an exciting time to be part of this division. These are the fights and the nights that you want to have, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, um, actually we have a strong, strong hold in, in, in my division and around my divisions, which is partly one of the reasons why um, I really want to do, um, be a part of the matchroom stable. So yeah, of course, man, that's in the future. Listen, that's what we're building up to. That's why I'm not, I'm not too, I'm not too um, you know, disappointed that I've gone the six rounds because I know eventually the 12 rounders are coming. So yeah, I'm happy, man. You know, whatever, whatever pace my team want to move me at, I'm very happy, man, but I'm, I'm ready, man. You, you've seen it out there. I mean, I'm not even first gear, man. I'm in 0.5 gear, you know what I'm saying? This is easy. You know what I'm saying? On to the next one. I can't wait for the next one. I'm really excited for the next one.
You had a lot of support out there tonight for you. This is a fight closer to home uh, than the debut. What does that sort of support mean to you at this stage of your career? And how exciting is that journey going to be for you when they all get behind you and even more fans join the Hamza Udin journey? Shout to on people's man. Every time, every time you lot come out, you support and I appreciate you. You know, Birmingham, it was a special experience to come back to Birmingham. You know, it's been such a long time since I come here and the crowd were amazing, man. Amazing, you know. It's a stuff of dreams, you know, going out there and people cheering your name. We're only, you know, five, six, seven years ago, no, no one knew who I was. I was just a little kid who was just doing a bit of boxing down the gym. So it's always a pleasure. But listen, these, this crowd is loyal, man. They'll travel with me everywhere. You know, Britain, America, Saudi, you name it. They're coming. Hamza, 2-0, congratulations. And we look forward to seeing you very soon.